The New York Jets are back in action here at MetLife Stadium, an empty MetLife Stadium, as odd as that may be, taking on the defending NFC champion, San Francisco 49ers. There's a different feel on the practice fields in Florham Park. After a long and unprecedented offseason, the Jets will travel to Buffalo on Sunday to kick off their 2020 campaign. For Chris Herndon, week one provides a fresh start after he missed nearly all of 2019. The Jets are hoping the tight end picks up where he left off in his rookie season when he burst onto the scene as one of Sam Darnold's biggest targets. I just felt myself getting in a rhythm and then, you know, doing my best to be consistent for, you know, not just myself, but this team. And I found myself, you know, coming across success. Coming off that season, I just felt like the best thing to do was not get comfortable or complacent, just go into the off season, focusing on, you know, things I feel like I needed to get better at and, you know, hone in on those and just come back into OTAs and even fall camp in the best shape and, you know, mindset possible. For Herndon, the opportunity to build off his big rookie year never came. I think a lot of Jets fans are excited about the return of Chris Herndon after a very promising rookie season in 2018 and then kind of a lost sophomore year that started with suspension and then ended with injury. That was really hard at first, you know, especially, you know, with the suspension and, you know, the freak injury and then coming back first game, getting injured and just realizing the season was done for me. But I did my best to, you know, stay good spirit, positive mindset, just see it as, you know, an obstacle that I can overcome if I have the, the right mindset, the right support system. I learned how fast it can be taken from you. But, you know, also watching from the outside, I just, you know, learned to appreciate it more as well because, I mean, just, you know, working so hard and having it taken away from you really hurt. And, you know, being back out there this year with the team and everybody, uh, it feels great to be back out there. So I, I, it was definitely a big learning year for me. What do you feel like you have to prove to yourself? Just, you know, I could go back out there and play at a high level, compete with, you know, the best of the best consistently each and every week. And uh, just, you know, that, that I could, you know, still play football. Is that something that you've doubted over the past year since you've been out? No, just, you know, naturally just not playing last year. It's like, like, I, like you guys said, I'm anxious to get out there, but I definitely want to prove to myself that I'm back and, you know, better than I was when I last was out there. Carrying a new perspective on the game he loves, Herndon is ready to prove he is better than ever. Coming at you from the front. Coming at you from the back, yeah. To hide. No just to be the most complete person and tight end that I could be, be a reliable pass catcher, be able to block in the not just run game, but, you know, pass game, you know, protection wise, being able to block linebackers, DNs, sometimes safeties when they blitz. So I could just say that I personally plan to be a complete tight end you know, week in and week out, just, you know, be consistent with it. 
finally nice to be going against somebody else instead of each other. And we're all very excited, very antsy, and well, I think we're all definitely ready to get out there. The Jets are on the road to open up their 2020 season in an empty Orchard Park. I can't imagine a stranger season than this, but we've got football and looking forward to it. Hey, game time, baby. We live for this, man. We live for this moment right here. Let's go. Let's go. It's the New York Jets and the Buffalo Bills opening day in a very odd 2020 season. Early in the first quarter, the Bills were marching down the field looking to strike Hot first. One, Allen again on the keeper, and he lost a football right into the arms of Bradley McDougal. And a turnover by the Bills. The Jets' offense failed to capitalize on the early takeaway, struggling to move the ball on one of the best defenses in the Here's league. Bell. Nowhere to go. They faked to Bell. Darnold on the move, and go. it's incomplete. Out of the reach of Brashad Perriman. Steps up, looks over the middle, fires one, and it's dropped right into the hands of Jamison Crowder. The Bills were firing on all cylinders, taking a 21-0 lead late in the first half. Quick pass to Brown. Makes the catch, and there he goes. Touchdown, Buffalo. <laughs> Nobody home in the middle of that Jets defense. And Bring your f***ing juice right now. Pick this shit up, man. Let's go. With time winding down in the first half, the Jets would have one final opportunity to get on the board. Oh, trying to down the sideline. What a catch! Le'Veon Bell able to reel it in. Darnold in trouble, steps up. He's going to run it now, and it goes down just shy of midfield. Oh, Darnold, quick pass, another first down. Jamison Crowder. Pressure coming, Darnold in trouble. Try to get away, and he dumps it off to Crowder for a first down. Darnold under center, five seconds to go. And he spikes it with three. And now Sam Ficken will come out. And Ficken's kick is good. So that turnover by Allen with the Bills driving leads to three points for the Jets. Coming out of halftime, the Jets desperately needed to claw their way back in the game. Third down and seven. Quick pass to Crowder trying to get him out of space. He slips a tackle, and there he goes. Crowder breaks free. It's a foot race, and Crowder is in there. Final score, the Bills 27 and the Jets 17. You know, it's it's disappointing in the aspect, just watching the guys work all week and, and the excitement level coming into this game. And, you know, we got a lot to work on. We got a lot of things that we got to get fixed. At one Jets drive, preparations have shifted to the team's next challenge a matchup with the defending NFC champion, San Francisco 49ers. The Jets' defense will have their hands full against one of the league's top rushing attacks. Defensive lineman Quinnen Williams is looking to have a breakout performance in the home opener. The former number three overall pick transformed his body this spring with an eye on a dominant sophomore season. In pursuit. Duck goes down, Quentin Williams. The rookie rips through for the sack and a loss of eight. I learned a lot of stuff, man. I learned a lot of stuff that um, I can change my whole game, man. man I thought I was a, I know I'm a great defensive lineman my first year, but coming in, man, with these great guys, man, great vets on our defensive line room, man, they just taught me so much, man. And I took it and they elevated my game each and every day last year. Quentin Williams, 
Williams will not miss. He's my top player in the draft. I'll we'll say that. this guy's game tape looks like highlight tape. Yeah, this guy is just, wait, wait. just a massive human being. I mean, that's like a dancing bear. Main thing I learned with block out the outside noise, man. That was a, a huge thing that I learned last year and also this year and just being in the NFL in, in general. Like, don't listen to all the hype, don't listen to all the lows, don't listen to everything that's going on the outside, man. Believe in what you got inside, as in like the organization, the coaches, the players, and the people you go to battle with. So that was the, one of the main things I really learned, like ignore the outside noise. As he battled through injuries, Williams failed to reach his own expectations in his rookie season. I'm a little definitely frustrated, man, but you, Greg, Coach Greg Williams always tell me, man, you never, you never lose, you always learn. So that was the main thing I took from that, man, last year and going to this year, man. Like, everything, I never took a loss, I learned. So everything that I did wrong last year, I learned from it. Everything that I did, did right, I learned from it. So all the learning and things that I did um, last year that I learned through the offseason to become a better player this year. For Williams, there was no offseason. He went to work determined to become the dominant force he knows he can be. I knew what I had to do. I knew I had to work hard. I knew I had to get my body fat down so I could be, be able to compete at a high level every single play without taking a step back through the first quarter to the fourth quarter. Just that chip on my shoulder, man, that I got this year from last year, and just two years of pun, man, just I know I'm a great player, and I just got to show the world and just go out there and be there every single Sunday, every single day. It was more than just physical work for Williams. He refined his mental game as well, <laughs> studying two of the NFL's best, Chris Jones of the Chiefs and two-time Defensive Player of the Year, Aaron Donald. Those two guys I watch every single, every single snap this all season. Just explosiveness off the ball and just continually doing it over and over and over. Like getting off the ball, explosive off the ball, explosive movement. So that was one of the things I very much like. I feel like I lacked in last year, just exploding. Like I feel like I was timid. I was thinking too much last year. So this year, like, like learning from them, learning from myself and my trainer. We just got together and just got my explosive night. So every time off the ball, it'd be consistent and just exploding. So I just want to be dominant, man. Like, just do my job at a dominant, explosive way, at a high level. So anything I can do to help this team, anything I can do to go out there and make plays, man, to put the defense in the right position, put myself in the right position to, to be successful on third down, first down, second down, I'm going to do it. Let's go. Let's go today, Big Q, Big Q. <laughs> today about Rob for each other. Today about doing something for the man next to you, dog. That's what you're here about. Sacrifice. Sacrifice something for the next man. Make that man better today. Bring somebody with you today. Eat on three. One, two, three. Hey.
in a home opener unlike any other. The 49ers dealt the Jets' defense a big blow on the game's first play. Staring at the early deficit, Quinn and Williams would turn up the heat as the Jets looked to stay in the game. And Quinn and Williams getting good pressure up front with the bull rush. Quentin Williams again for his second sack. It was. Five wide receivers. Here comes a blitz. Darnold swings one left. He's got Perriman on and out. It's good for a first down across the 50. is on the way, and it's right down the middle for Sam Ficken. With Niners quarterback Jimmy Garoppolo sidelined with an injury, the Jets' defense needed a big play to swing the momentum in the third quarter. And it six, the pass is intercepted. Run! And through the hands of McKinnon. And it's returned back inside the 25 by Pierre Desir. In the end, the 49ers proved to be too much as the Jets fell to 0-2. We got to find a way to improve really fast, and we have to go back to work. I mean, that's that's the number one thing. We have to go find a way to win one football game. No one's jumping around, you know, and screaming, but you know, it's. It sucks. I mean, you know, no one's no one's yelling at each other. You know, we, we understand that we have to stay together. Um, you know, it's only our second game in the season. Um, obviously, we didn't envision these two games going like this, but um, we just got to keep our heads down, go to work, and and you know, get ready for a tough indie team. An NFL season is a 16-game roller coaster, full of highs and lows. The Jets will put their heads down and keep fighting ready to turn the tide with all eyes on their next opponent, the Indianapolis Colts. The only way to get it done is to pin on each and every man in this circle. Sir. I need the O-line to fall. Right there. Right there. Right there. Secondary, we got a ball. Right there. Right there. Come on, hit. Minutes is going to take everybody, everything, everybody. That's you. Yeah. All day. Give us Joe's on the road.